forming ionic compounds, and I've written down four examples here. One, two, three, and four. You can write those down and do them as we go if you want. Okay, so here's rules you have to remember is you always write the positive element name first and then the negative and that you have the to check your answer they both have to be go out bleh, they both have to equal zero and if they both are positives or they're both negatives then it's no solution and it can't work it's not possible okay so example one which is that one you first write down the positive one first which is PD and then you write down the negative one then you can do it the easy way which is just switching the two charges AS has negative 3 and PD is plus 4 so the PD is going to be 3 and the AD, A, I mean AS is going to have subscript 4. And that's the answer. And you can check your answer by putting 12 equals plus 4 times 3 and then negative 3 times 4 equals negative 12. And so positive and a negative equals 0. So your answer is correct. And then for the next one, it is going to be, well, they're both positive. They both have positive charges. So what does that tell you? See, H, G, and K are both positive. So that answer is not possible. And just to make sure you can check by doing the plus 1 equals plus 1 times 1, and then plus 1 times 1 equals plus 1, and that shows you that they're both positive, and that is not possible. The next example is a little trickier because you have to find the the name, the symbols for the elements, and whether it's positive or negative or not. So the first example would be the francium and the fluoride. Remember that IUM is positive and IDE ending is negative. So therefore, it would be FR and then F for fluoride, because positive and then negative. And then you can use your periodic table to find the different, like if it's a plus one charge or a negative two. And so for francium, it is a plus one. And for fluoride, it is a negative one. So your answer is FRF. And again, you can check that like we did before, and you'll get zero. And so you know that's correct. Okay, for this one, for example, number four, strontium and beryllium, you know that the IUM endings are both positive, so we know from just looking at that that they're no solution because they are both positive. But if you didn't remember that, if you didn't remember that, you could always do SR plus 2 BE plus 2 which would equal SRBE but then when you check it there's that step when you check it it would be plus 2 times 1 equals plus 2 that's SR and then BE is plus 2 times 1 equals plus 2 so you know that they're both positive and you check it also, and that equals no solution.
And that is my lesson on forming ionic compounds. Hope I helped you.